You didn't forget. You let me lie in on purpose. You get yourself an alarm clock. I don't believe Annie's going to see me looking like this. I look like a tramp. You look OK. It's all right for you and your best shirt and your designer aftershave. I can't help it if I'm naturally stylish. It's taking an unfair advantage with a woman I love. You all have to excuse the mess. The decorators are just moving in. Oh, I didn't realise George was doing in here as well. Dreadful taste your old man's got, if I may say so. Actually, I'm in charge of the decor. Oh, sorry. Uh, definitely needs a woman's touch. Yes, well, seeing as I'm now running the place. You are, eh? Now, I understand you're hoping for jobs when we reopen. That's right. Frankly, I have certain reservations about that. Such as? I intend to run things rather differently from my father. Ah, oh, that's OK. We're very adaptable. I believe previously you two had responsibility for the day-to-day -day organisation. We practically ran it for him. I see. In that case, I'd better make one thing clear right from the start. I run things. Absolutely right. What I need is two competent barmen. If you feel that's a step down. Not at all. We'd be happy to let you take charge. Thank you. Lenny? Like I say, we're very adaptable. OK, I still do have other areas of concern. Go on. Starting with dress code. I would insist on a certain standard. So, are we celebrating then? Yeah, do we get the job? Well, seeing as my father's recommended you, I'm willing to give you a month's trial. A trial? If at the end of that period I feel your work's satisfactory, we can talk about longer contracts. Well, you needn't worry about us. We're both good crafters. I hope so, for your sake. I'm a lot tougher than my dad, you know. 